Becca, come in. Jesus Christ, what happened to you? I have eight. Sorry, uh... It's okay. Mind if I take a seat? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, new baby, huh? One week old. <laughs> Congrats, man. Little baby girl. Hey, man. Kids are great. Thanks, Beckett. I'm really excited about it. Um, what can I do for you? Well, I was fired by a wine oiler, and uh, I plan to bring a wrongful termination suit against Charles Wheeler and his partners. You want to sue Wyant Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlown, Brown? Exactly. Continue. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story, not mine. You want to hear mine? <laughs> How many lawyers did you contact before you called me? Nine. Continue. I was diagnosed with AIDS eight months ago during a bout with pneumonia. Um, I, I was able to recover, get back to work within 10 days. Uh, I was doing so well on the AZT. We decided against telling anyone about it. We? Miguel Alvarez. We've lived together for nine years now. Continue. I dove back into work. <clears throat> Everything was fine until the lesion started. First, my leg, then, my forearm, my back, then eventually, my face. For a short period, I avoided the office during the day, waiting for the chemo to clear up. But I never let anything slide. I took all my phone calls from home. I worked 16 hours a day on a $350 million copyright infringement. It disappeared. A race from my computer. I thought I was losing it mentally. That can happen. And it is known to be called AIDS dementia. That's when it gets to your brain. But miraculously, a copy of the complaint was turned in the next morning to the court. I was called to the office for a meeting with the managing partners. Walking down that corridor was strange. It felt like everyone was staring at me. Hell, I can't blame them. What's that shit on your face? It's makeup. Okay, explain to me like I am a two-year-old because there is an element of this that I am not getting through my thick head. Didn't you have an obligation to inform your employer that you had this dreaded, deadly, infectious disease? The law says people with disabilities cannot be terminated so long as they can perform the duties required by their position. Okay, okay. They discover you have this horrible, disgusting, terminal illness and they panic for any number of perfectly valid reasons. They're afraid for themselves, their families. Maybe it's the homo angle. Maybe they don't want to rub elbows with someone who just popped out of the closet with a terminal case of acne. And how are they supposed to explain your status to the client for Christ's sake? Joe, from the day I arrived to the day they fired me, I performed magnificently. Thoroughly and excellent. And if they hadn't fired me, that's what I'd be doing today. Okay. They're trying to get you out. They cannot fire you because it is against the law to fire someone for having AIDS, so they make you look like a fuck up. Which leads us to the case of the mysterious lost file. They sabotaged me. See, I knew you would say that. I don't buy it, I don't see a case. Look, I know I have a case. And if you don't want to take this case for personal reasons... Correct, I don't. Thanks for your time.
Beckett, I'm sorry about what has happened. It's a fucking kick in the head. Don't say flowers, Joe. We're not there yet. <laughs>